Hi folks, in our previous tutorials, I've showed you how you can add products into Times Act using tags now in Shopify, but everything I've done up until this point has still been manual work at one point or another. And so in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use Times Act coupled with Shopify Flow in order to create some powerful automations where you basically no longer have to do anything to set products up on pre-order. So we begin in the app. Notice how I have no products added. And if you look in my tag automations, I have no tags created. I'm going to create a new tag here. And I'm going to name it backorder. OK, because my use case is going to be when I have a product with at least one variant that is um, sold out, I want it placed on a backorder with a 20% discount. So I'm selecting only when out of stock. I have some templates that I've created for my back order and a selling plan for this as well. Check out our other tutorials to see how these things can be done and customized. All right, I have the tag now, back order. I'm going to copy this because I'm going to need it in Shopify Flow. And you can open it here. You have it pre-installed as an app. And here I'm going to create a new workflow where I'm going to select as my trigger from Shopify. Let's see when I should have it somewhere here, when a product, okay, when a, when a product variant is out of stock. So that's when we begin. And then I'm going to add an action. And my action is going to be to add a tag to that product Add product tags, and the product tag I'm going to be adding is my back order. And I'm going to turn on this workflow, right? So now, when I have a product with at least one variant that's out of stock, uh, Shopify Flow will automatically add a tag back order that will tell Times Act, hey, put this product on back order. So, now the last step is to actually test this out. So notice here I have stock in all my products and I have this uh, example t-shirt that has stock in all variants. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make this small sold out, okay? And then in, in the back end, Shopify is gonna be um, you know, adding the tag here for back order, hopefully. So if I refresh this, okay, notice how I have back order, and now let's see Times Act in action. And if I go into pre-orders here, notice how that variant small is now active on back order, while the other variants have also been added, and they are pending because they still have stock in them. And if I go to view this on my store, with the settings I have is like backward 20% off. So that's what I'm expecting. So notice how you just set this up and then everything will be done automatically for you. And there are multiple other use cases that I'm gonna go into. This is just like a basic example. And uh, check out our next tutorials to see different powerful automations in this space.